Hey guys, I decided to make this video just randomly. I was working on some int8 multiplications, so I thought I might as well make a video about it. So matrix multiplication is a complicated thing. Um, if you're using MATLAB or if you're using Python or any of the languages, at the back end, um, so you, you, you pass in a command a times b, um, it does the multiplication, but at the back end, there's a lot of math that goes behind it. Um, so matrix multiplication is an order n cube operation, but then um, using parallelization, vectorizations, you can reduce the complexity. So the kind of algorithm that go into matrix multiplications are called gem and um, MATLAB, Python, NumPy, whatever, they use these gem algorithms. So um, if I search for gem, and if I say do a wiki, so gem is basically general matrix multiplication and um, all the libraries that do linear algebra are supported on some level. So the first implementations of gem were um, in Fortran and Fortran's BLAST library, the linear algebra library was one of the first ones to use. If you want to do matrix multiplications using GBU, you would use Kublas. So Kublas is um, CUDA and then PLAS. So this is the topic of today's video. Um, when people do matrix multiplication using CUDA, um, you use, you're doing the matrix multiplications on the GPU cores. And this is a pretty fast operation. And um, what people typically use, you would use Kublast library. So basically, um, sorry, Kubla, Kublast library, C-U-B-L-A-S. And um, the command that you, you typically use is kublas gem, this one. Um, the X is an extension for it, but this is a command people typically use. There are plenty of YouTube videos about it. There are plenty of examples about it. But um, there are certain limitations of this library. The first limitation is that um, if I go to the data types that it supports, it supports a ton of data type, but the output is not int8. So, int8 output is important in cases where you want to quantize your data types. Quantization helps for increasing the performance. It helps in when you're using the um, whatever you, you're using in embedded devices or mobile phones. So quantization definitely helps. So if you want int8 output, Kublas does not support that. Another thing it does not or rather another annoying thing about Kublas is that since it's Fortran based, it uses um, column major memory indexing, which is annoying when um, in C++ or in Python, you would always use row major indexing. So the difference between column major and row major is that um, in, in memory, your matrix is stored in a column major format where the columns come first, the entire column comes first, compared to row major where the entire row comes first. A row major is a rather natural way of representing data. So um, that's why uh, this is an annoying fact of these gem algorithms. So today I want to introduce a new library that um, does things a bit better. And that library is Kublas LT. So the LT stands for lightweight. So Kublas LT is a library that was introduced since Kublas or rather, rather CUDA 10.2 onwards. And the amazing thing about that is that it's, an, it's a lightweight library. So that means its performance is better than Kublas. And it, um, it supports both column major and row major indexing. Uh, another thing about it is that it only does matrix multiplication. So it does not have the, the, uh, the extra weight associated to it by su supporting different functions. So it's pretty lightweight, only does matrix multiplication. And I would recommend everyone who uses Kublas Gem to shift or move over to Kublas LT. And this video is basically about that. So Kublas LT has only one function, Kublas LT Matmo, which, as the name suggests, does matrix multiplication. And a couple of good things about it is that, first of all, it supports int8 data type. And that's an example that I will show you in code. And um, I haven't seen a lot of code about it. The only um, code I've seen are the NVIDIA official samples, but nothing much. And um, again, the documentation is also lacking. Uh, it does not mention a lot of things. So for example, this 
Intate support only came in since CUDA 11.0. So if you want Intate output, you definitely need CUDA 11.0 at least. And also this Intate only works on Turing or uh, Ampere architecture. So I have RTX series uh, gra graphics cards, so that's why this Intate would work. They never mention it anywhere, so which is weird. And this multiplication only works when uh, your matrix dimensions are multiples of 16. So another thing that it's not mentioned in the documentation. So I will go over a quick example that I wrote down to demonstrate how to use this Kublas LT Mathmal library. And I have uploaded it on my GitHub. <clears throat> I will post the links of it below. So just going over the code, I will briefly go over the code. So here first I define the dimensions. Again, um, so you're multiplying two matrices A times B, and the output is stored in is stored in C. So the inner dimension K is what is summed over. So um, the outer dimensions M and N are um, basically outer dimensions. So the output becomes M times N. Um, so this, may, if you want in date output, make sure that M and N Basically, the output, uh, sorry, M and K, the output and the inner dimensions are multiples of 16. This is only a requirement if you want int 8 output. So if you don't want int 8, you can keep them whatever you want. Then um, using a helper uh, header, I um, define some uh, my data, my matrices. These, I have templatized them. So these are int 8. And I initialize them using um, a function. So just you can look up the header to find how I initialize them, but it's basically initializing them. Then I um, basically allocate some memory on my device and move over the data to the device. So since I want to do multiplication inside GPU, so it's better to have the, or rather you need the data to be in the GPU memory. So I do this via copying the memory. Then some helper functions to print out the matrices. A and B are printed out and then I define the workspace. So when I perform this matrix multiplication, there should be some workspace allotted to it for holding temporary variables. And um, I've defined it like this. So you don't need to, but I just did it from a, from an example. And then um, a funny thing about Kublas LT is that it requires matrix descriptors. So Kublas by itself never needed matrix descriptors. So if I go back to the documentation, it just required um, uh, the matrices, the pointers to the matrices directly. It did not need any descriptors, but Kublas requires these matrix layouts. So these descriptors basically tell Kublas LT whether um, it's a row major or what kind of format it contains, what are the dimensions of it. So it needs descriptors. Um, you can think of it like being descriptors of tensors like in QDNN. So um, I define some null descriptors, then I define um, whether my matrices are transposed or not. Um, if you're doing A times B, it's better to have A transposed because you want memory coalescing. So uh, so it's, it is very performance efficient if A is transposed. Great. Now, if I create a descriptor for matrix multiplication, where I specify what kind of compute I want and what are my scaling dimensions. So if I go back, to the documentation for int 8. I want 32 integer in 32 computation and my scale type to be float. So that's what I define here. Good. So I've defined the compute and um, the scale type. And then I also set the descriptors. I want matrix A to be transposed. So I pass in this operation. So my matrix A is transposed and B is non-transposed. And I also create these matrix layout which tell A is int 8, what are the dimensions of it, what is the leading dimension, and so on. So once I do this, I pass it through a heuristic function which takes in all these descriptors and figures out what algorithm to use. So if I do get an algorithm, that means this multiplication will work. If I do not get any algorithm, that tells me that this won't work. And then all I have to do is just, so I create an event and I just pass in this function, A, B, C, and the output is again stored in C. And I just time the operation and print it out. So pretty simple, uh, pretty straightforward code. So let's just run it. 
Um, for this, let me open my command prompt and let me navigate to the directory where I have it. So it's stored in my desktop. Uh, oh, okay. That's that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, yeah, I'm using a Windows machine for this example. Uh, it's a bit annoying when I use Windows, but um, what can you do? So just let me just figure out where I saved it. Okay, yeah, uh, I was navigating to the wrong directory. Good. So let me first uh, let me open it. Uh, no plus plus plus. Good, 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 good. So again, here I have my dimensions as multiples of 16 and I will use this code. So for Linux, I have made a make file, but for Windows, I would need to just pass in this manually. And since we're using kublas lt, let me pass that. It compiles and let me run it. Great. So it did the multiplication. So let, let's go over this multiplication. So first of all, this is my A matrix. Since it's int 8, all the values are randomly generated between negative 128 to positive 127. A is multiplied to B, and it has found an algorithm that works. So since this is a tricky multiplication because they're large numbers, the multiplication will typically overflow. So what I mean by that, when, I'm, when I multiply A times B, the result that I would get would typically be more than 127. So, so as you can see, it's um, spitting out overflow because um, int 8 is ca capped at 127. So this uh, this concludes our um, an ex this concludes this example of like a multiplication. I also want to show you that if suppose by chance I had uh, a different dimension. So if I put say four, if I change this to four, changed this to four let's do that save it and if i compile and run again um, let me get out. it'll take a bit i'm using an older gpu i'm using an rtx 2060 so it takes a bit of time and i'll run it again you see that it did not find an algorithm so it needs to be multiples of 16 so keep that in mind so it didn't find. So it only it uh, gave me back the initialized numbers that it had already. Another thing that I want to mention before I end this video is if I do profiling on this. Uh, okay, let's go back and change this to 16 because we want int to actually work. So let's go back and let's run it. And let's run profiling on it. Uh, good. So, okay. So when I do profiling on it, you can see that this operation, this multiplication operation, um, uses this cutlass library, and then it uses tensor ops. So this means that it is using tensor cores. And um, tensor cores are only available, int 8 tensor cores are only available on um, Ampere and above. So, so on, on Turing and above. So the 20 series and the 30 series. And uh, that's why this operation won't work, work on um, previous or the older GPU generation like Volta or Pascal. Uh, I wish NVIDIA's documentation would mention this. I had to, I found it out by trial and error, but um, I wish they mentioned that. So this would be it. Uh, the code, I will put it, put it below in the description so you can check it out. But this was a random video that I decided to make and I think I'll start a playlist with all these like random gyan. Okay, have a great day.